What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I have to say I'm kind of perplexed. Kind of perplexed. I saw something that I kind of knew was true, but is literally mind-blowing. And I, I don't understand this at all. You know, we are in the middle of doing an autopsy of the body of the Dallas Cowboys season. And I saw a post on Instagram that seems like it's right. It sounds like the numbers are right. But it's actually hard to believe. This is, you know, every one of our stars on the field during the regular season deserve blame for the Dallas Cowboys playoff issues. And this is kind of crazy when you see these numbers. Dak Prescott in his playoffs, okay, in seven playoff games, has 14 TDs and seven interceptions. Um. In general, two to one TDs to interceptions, that's not the worst um, numbers you've ever seen. But this is playoff time when legends are made. Micah Parsons, one sack in four games, in four playoff games. CD Lamb, one TD in four playoff games. D-Law, three sacks in nine playoff games. And Tony Pollard, one TD in four playoff games. And I'm going to put a bonus one in here because I was talking to uh, brother Wade. You know, Wade was, he sent me something, you know, he was just like the way we played in, in the playoffs. And I sent him that. And I started also thinking about this too because this goes deeper than just this past year because we can go through and this is this is one that's really mind-blowing because people have always said that well you know it's Zeke Elliott that Zeke Elliott carried Dak Prescott but when you look at Zeke Elliott's numbers Zeke Elliott for the Cowboys played in six playoff games he had two TDs and his average was 65.5 yards per game, which doesn't sound quite so bad, except he had 125 his rookie year in one game. He had 92 in two games his second year. So that's only, what, uh, 46? 46 a game. In 2021, he had 31 yards in one game uh, I'm sorry um, yeah an average 26 yards in the two games that he played in 2022 now I can't tell you the reason why when we get to playoffs our stars don't shine uh, this is this is not just one person and this is goes back to where everybody is on the bandwagon of saying, just get rid of Dak. Well, maybe maybe you find somebody who can perform better than Dak. You know, I don't know how much more they're going to perform. Maybe they get three TDs and one interception. But if you're running game, Zeke Elliott, six games, two TDs. Tony Pollard, four games, one TD. Um, your stars sacking the quarterback, four games for Micah Parsons and one sack. Uh, seven games for D Law, and he's got three sacks. It doesn't matter if it's just a quarterback. All your stars, all, uh, and and this is where I don't know if it's the game plan, if it's coaching, if it's motivation, if they need to see a th uh, a psychiatrist, but clearly. The way they play during the regular season versus the playoffs, bro, that's some crazy shit. That is insane, the difference. I am literally appalled by looking at these numbers, and I don't think that Tony Romo's, and this is where I should go back a little further here because I don't want to just kill 
these guys. This is systematically, I think it's the same thing with Tony Romo and his numbers. Because Tony Romo, I know, never had more than two touchdown passes in any game in the playoffs. So to think that he would have had, you know, more than, you know, uh, 14. I, in fact, I tell you what, I'll look it up. Let me look it up because I'm curious now because this, I think, seems to be a systematic problem when it comes to the playoffs. So Tony Romo in the playoffs in six playoff games had eight TDs and two interceptions. Now, I will say he's got less interceptions than Dak does. He's averaged, you know, half of a sack, I mean, half of an uh, interception a game, roughly, but has only averaged one and a half TDs. So that's really about the same. You know, Dak's got two TDs, one interception, you know, so he's got a half an interception more. So, um, and you look at his completion percentage, 61.6, not, you know, super duper. So this seems to be, and I will say that I think DeMarcus Ware had problems down the stretch with playoffs too with the Cowboys. So the question begs is, why is it the Dallas Cowboys have had so much problems when it comes to actually once they get into the playoffs? I I wish I had the answer for this, but this makes no sense that every single one of your stars – Every single one of your stars in the playoffs, the guys that are making the big bucks or will be making the big bucks, they're not performing along with anybody else because, quite frankly, nobody is really performing in our playoff games. It's just been ass-ass. I, I wish I knew, but somehow, some way, we've got to find out why it is that you're getting no production out of those guys um it's kind of a slow day today on the cowboys drama which you would think that it would have been slow every day with the exception the only thing we've had is um micah parsons mom basically throwing um jesse hotley under the bus and saying you don't know what you're talking about next time you know ask the source as opposed to somebody else that and I've talked to Philly 500 and he says we're full of drama. And I was like, bro, they, 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 I said, they, they literally cut your, 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 your coaches wavels off. And his response was, yeah. And they fed them to him. Not good times where, when it comes to the Cowboys or the Eagles, it's, it's literally just bad. I'm Mark Holmes and well, We've got our live stream in about 30 minutes. Hope to see you guys there. Peace.